if you do any research on the Riviera Maya, there is no ways that you can miss the Shkadet Parks. The marketing is just all over the place and for good reason. But I think a lot of people are skeptical about the parks just because of their price point. So in this video, we're going to be sharing with you why we think it's worth it. You will want to stick around till the end because we're going to share our pro tips to get the most out of Shelha Park. Shalha is a water park unlike any you may have seen before. Set in Mexico's lush Mayan jungle, you'll enjoy the best of the region's natural water bodies as you jump, float and snorkel your way down its protected inlet. If that's not enough excitement, the park is all-inclusive and offers some of the most decadent buffets to go with their fun team cocktails. So this is actually not our first time at Shalha. We came exactly a month ago on my birthday and we just came for complete leisure reasons. We did not film anything, but we loved it so much that we just really wanted to come back to make a full video so that you guys can make the most of your time here. Yes, yes. Because we're going to be swimming like in the natural cenotes and things, you actually can't swim with any sunscreen here. It's got to be a very specific type. So if you happen to bring your own sunscreen, you can actually come here and they exchange it for you for a reef safe sunscreen, which yeah. is pretty cool. Since you've only got 8.30 to 5 o'clock to get the most out of the park, our mistake last time is we got you and we wandered around and we waited for breakfast to open. Your fall is your fault. <laughs> But this time we're going to do it differently because we found like we really didn't have enough time for everything. So we're actually going to go get straight into our bathing suits. That's correct. <laughs> Yeah. Something we can recommend is come early because you will enjoy the park less crowded because people start coming around 9, 10 a.m. If you want to be able to see everything like beautiful without the crowd, early is definitely the way to go. So that is where we are headed right now. This giant water slide measures at 98.5 feet and is not only a slide, but you're actually able to go all the way to the top via the spiral staircase. For safety reasons, devices are not allowed up, but our YouTube friend Marcus got special permission and was kind enough to share his footage with us. The slide is fun, but to us, the real reason to go up there is definitely for that view. So there you go, it's not even 9am and we've done the most popular attraction in the park so far and we didn't have to wait for anyone. We went straight up, saw the scenic tower, had a look at the view and then Going came down. down on the slide and now we're going to go and put a, put a top on and we're going for breakfast. Hey. Are you ready to eat, Alex? Oh yes, breakfast is my number one priority of the day. Oh wait. Well, we couldn't get into the first restaurant, so now we need to find another restaurant where we can have breakfast. Yeah, it's actually, even though the park is so quiet today, Chula Vista is actually the main restaurant um, and the tables were already taken. But the good thing is they've actually got two other breakfast options here. So that's where we're headed next. Last time we ate so much breakfast because, you know, when it's a buffet, you just want to eat everything. But this time we're going to try and control ourselves because breakfast was cool, but lunch was spectacular, but we were so full. So we're just going to have a light breakfast now. That's what I'm saying now, but we'll see when we're actually in the <laughs> restaurant. Okay, gracias. Well, I mean, we're the only people in this restaurant. This one's a little bit out of, out of the way, so people don't really know about it. Let's go and eat. So this is the, the Mexican restaurant. I'm going to say Chilaquiles Verdes. I used to work in a restaurant, so... More sausages. That much? Yeah, it's perfect. They've got pancakes, they've got French toast, they've got all the salsas over there. Okay, I think this is good for a light breakfast. <laughs> Perfecto, gracias. gracias. Simon said we were going to have a light breakfast and she's taking like another three plates of buffet. This is for us to share and this was Giovanni's suggestion. Guys, if you are thinking of one thing to get off of the buffet, we're going that way. Get the chilaquiles, especially the green ones. No, They're the so good. Ones. Giovanni likes I'm the red, team, I like the I'm green. Team red chilaquiles. <laughs> Let us know in the comments, are you team red or team green? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're headed on to our second activity of the day. If you don't count breakfast, we're going to go down the river. But since we just ate, we're not going to do like the big snorkel and all of that we're just gonna float just to let our food digest a bit so you'll find these maps located all over the park basically we just had breakfast somewhere in this region over here and now we're following this route all down there and we're gonna get into the inlet from there 
We're headed up to the top of the river now and there's actually two ways to get there. Number one, you can take a bicycle, but because we slightly over eight, we're going to avoid that right now. We're going to go on a little train, this is like a shuttle to take you from here to the main uh, snorkeling spot yes. area. I mean, the exactly. beginning of the river. Perfect. Ooh, the ground is hot. Yeah. It is warm. It's hot, no? It's hot. This fire bottom. Okay, so we are at the beginning of the river. That was a lot easier than cycling all the way here on such a full belly. With shirts. Hey, yes. Yeah. I'm not getting sunburns. Yeah, that's true. Uh... You want to go on a single one or a double? Double. I don't know. Do you want to come double with me? Double trouble. Do you want to come with me or do you want to be all by yourself? All by myself. Double. Yes, I'm excited. Double trouble. Double. Hola, ¿cómo está Oh, my bum is cold! Yeah. <laughs> okay, gracias. Gracias. Do you think there's a reed or there are... These, these are mangroves, I think. Yeah. Well, we just got out of the mangrove area, which is like the beginning of the river. You just have to work a little bit to get out of that place and then you start going into the flow of the river. Yeah, now we don't have to work anymore. Now we can just sit back and relax. I would choose this over going to the beach any day. Yeah, I, I prefer this on the beach. Oh, 100%. Even this is ocean water, eh? It is, but it's like, there's no current. Yeah. Very calm, very peaceful, it's lovely. Have to do all the hard work. Same point with the running. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm fine. This is the exercise for the day. <laughs> Shalha has got this very massive inlet which makes makes it unique. I mean I don't know of any other place in this area where you're going to get such a massive body of natural body of water at least aside from the ocean. <laughs> Feels like we're just going in a circle now. Yeah, we're going far away from where we are. <laughs> no, we're going to get there. I'm telling you. You must see your hand. This is literally your hand. <laughs> Are you regretting? <laughs> but we're moving. <laughs> you thought you were going to escape having to get in the water? Gracias. Go for it. I feel recording? Yeah. <laughs> Hectic, eh? Are you okay? Yeah. I have to be strong, eh? And tall. Got him, my love. Woo, my forearm. Yeah. Hectic, eh? I expect that. <laughs> that was cool, eh? Yeah. Oh, that was fresh. Simone actually sacrificed for uh, the team of us and she's actually bringing one of the double floodies but she looks very funny. You got it. Well, I, I basically transported this all by myself halfway down the river, which was not the easiest thing, but we're here. Enjoying it. Mm, so beautiful. <laughs> Oh, very nice. So we're back to the same restaurant for lunch. We actually decided to come back to this one because it's probably going to be a lot quieter than the main restaurant Chula Vista and we like peace and quiet. I don't even know where to start. Everything looks really good. Want one of these? Yeah. No Mexican meal is complete without a stack of tortillas and that is that is a rule. You can't eat Mexican lunch without tortillas. This is cochinita pibil, which is very, it's pork in a chiote paste, which is very traditional from the Yucatan Peninsula, and it's actually a staple dish. It's actually it's kind of like slow cooked pork. Actually, they cook it on the ground and comes with this um, pickled onion. You can even add uh, habanero chili, which complements all in all. 
Mm. Something that I might say, put in like the Ishkaret Park, are always good. We headed to the next restaurant. Yes, yeah, second round. Second <laughs> round. Gracias. Second round starts. <laughs> As you can see, this restaurant is way bigger, so they have a larger selection. International section. International selection. <laughs> oh, Giovanni found us some sushi. Four rolls? Yeah, four rolls sounds good. One to share. Yeah, two, yeah. Mm. Good. <laughs> got the sushi. What is that? Sush? Sushi. Yes. And then we got um, fish fillet poached in cilantro sauce, which sounded really interesting. Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> what are you again? Chocolate cake again. for me. And I got a arroz con leche, which is like rice pudding for Giovanni. Basically, they've got drinks named after their parks. So this one is Shalha. This one is Explore. Ooh, it's nice. It's very strong. I really like Explore. It's like sweet and it's got a little bit of spiciness. This one's really nice. Cheers. Cheers. Explore. Explore. One of these and I will end up dancing like I was dancing with El Tio at the Mexican wedding. to show you and then we've got our top tips to still share with you because we've got a lot of insights into the Shkade Park so you're definitely going to want to stick around till the end. So we're back at the map and like you guys saw we started there and we went all the way down there earlier we came back for lunch now we're headed to this bridge and we're going to go across to this space because I feel like no one really goes there so we're going to go check that out. You ready Mr. Double Fist? Double trouble. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Let's go to the bridge. Let's do it. It's actually it's actually a floating bridge. So if you had had some drinks before this and you haven't gotten tipsy, this is the time you're gonna get tipsy for. Maro, how are you feeling? Like if I wasn't tipsy, I'm tipsy already. <laughs> Yeah, the ground is moving. I think it's difficult to show. So as you can see, the inlet goes all the way out to the ocean over there. Yeah. And this is video, right? <laughs> so basically in the Yucatan Peninsula which would include Quintana Roo and Yucatan and Campeche there are around 6,000 cenotes they're literally everywhere they're literally like sinkholes that just go straight into the ground the way that the Shkaret parks have like managed to integrate the parks within the natural environment is just incredible. If you really, really want to experience the Mayan jungle, we'd highly recommend you coming to any one of their parks really, but specifically explore Shkaret and Shalha. You ready for another drink? Another Cinco de Drinco, Cinco yeah. Muchisimas gracias. So because this park is all inclusive with alcohol and food, you're going to find bars like what we just went to literally all over the park. So if you want to drink yourself silly, I mean, it's very easy. You've got access literally everywhere. Everything. I think I want to go over there in the shade. In the shade, okay. I follow you. I'm going to show you how to get into a hammock correctly, as taught by my husband, who comes from literally the land where hammocks were created. You've got to find your two sides, and you've got to separate them. You hold this side up, you hold this side away, you sit, and you just go right in. <laughs> Not the most elegant, but... You don't need to have an anchor point. You cool. 
it's your anchor point so you move with your core you don't have to look look yes but you literally slept when you were a baby in a hammock like your crib was a hammock yeah <laughs> So we said that we were going to do the cliff jump but then the day got away with us and actually all the activities are starting to close now so Giovanni and I quickly ran here so that I could do the cliff jump and Giovanni's not going to do the cliff jump but I really want to before we leave so that's what I'm about to do right now. Shaking the... I don't see you putting a lot of jump I'm on. the camera guy. <laughs> okay. It's high. No, high. It's very high. Do you want to swap? No. And Two, three, go! Yeah. This is so much higher than I thought I could go. Are you okay, Mala? Okay? <laughs> Are you okay? Woo. It's a lot higher when you're jumping. How was it, my love? That's a lot higher than what I originally thought. When you're down there watching other people do it, it looks very simple, but it's actually quite hard. That's in your mind. Did you enjoy it? Mm. Was it cool? Yeah. Reason why I'm not doing this, I can do it, but yes, I'm a little bit afraid of heights. I'm I... definitely the more adventurous one of the two. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm more like a um, safety concern. <laughs> <laughs> we never got a chance to snorkel, but my brother did when he went, and he kindly shared his beautiful stingray footage with us. Oh, someone's shopping. Nah, no, I'm not a shopping guy, you're the shopping girl. <laughs> Something that gets me every single time about the Shkade parks are the Shkade shops. It's actually not very often that you find like nice souvenirs in this region. They're all kind of like the mass produced like cruise shipper kind of souvenirs that you find if you walk along the Fifth Avenue in Playa del Carmen and in Cancun and all of that. But Shkade has really taken the time to like craft a really nice inventory of stuff. All right, so it's six o'clock already. To be honest, six o'clock came by like that. Like the day just went by so quickly. So we're just about to head outside of the park right now. And then we've got our tips to share with you guys. But it looks like there's gonna be a massive storm. Literally two minutes after we recorded that, it started pouring with rain. So it is now the next day and we are about to share our top tips for you guys so that you can make the most of your time in Shabha. The most important tip that we could possibly share with you is river shoes. Please, please help yourself and bring river shoes. You can either get them directly from the park. Of course, they're going to be more expensive if you buy them from the park. Otherwise, you can find them in Walmart or kind of anywhere on the Fifth Avenue and Playa del Carmen. But basically, you're the whole time you're walking through the jungle. So the, the ground is very rough at places. It gets kind of slippery. You're going to have a miserable time if you don't have any kind of protection on your feet. So please bring river shoes. Speaking about things to bring to Shilha, waterproof cell phone cases that are very practical if you want to get your photos or video while you are doing the water activities. Yeah. Otherwise, you do get the photo package that shall have. It's kind of on the pricey side. However, something that we did notice is they have cameras literally everywhere and they're at angles that you otherwise wouldn't get with your own phone. Plus, they're professional photos. So if you, photos are really important to you, we'd highly recommend considering getting that package. One of the dining options that we actually didn't show in the video is they also have a snack bar where it's more like catered for kids they, where they've got burgers and um, chicken tenders and mozzarella sticks and all of those kinds of things. That is quite cool. That's open pretty much all day long. But if you are looking to go and eat good food, we'd recommend skipping that altogether and just sticking with the Mexican and the, and the international restaurants. As you already know, Shilha is an all-inclusive water park and something we can recommend is bring some cash in order to tip to the bartender or the servers at the restaurant because it goes a long way and it's great to appreciate for all the stuff. So as you guys have seen, it is rainy season right now, so you might be wondering when is the best time to actually visit Shalha. Well, basically rainy season runs from about mid-August to about the end of November, but it's very unpredictable and of course you've got the potential of getting hurricanes, but 
That's something you can predict. However, the good thing about Shanghai is they do have a 24-hour weather guarantee. So as long as you contact them to inform them about a change of date 24 hours prior to the day that you should be going, you're good. You can change your ticket and I believe it's valid for another year after that. Exactly. From June to August is one of the busiest periods due to school holidays. August being the busiest because of the Mexican school holidays and again in December during the Christmas period. Yeah, I must say we visited for my birthday in August um, and it was jam-packed. It was, it was so busy. Actually, I, neither Giovanni and I really particularly love crowds, so it was a little too busy for us to be honest. But when we went now again in September, it was perfect easy to get into restaurants easy to get floats it's just it, it was better in our opinion so that brings us to the end of our video we hope that you guys got a ton of useful information from this if you are interested in the Shkaret parks as a whole Giovanni and I have pretty much done all of them so you can actually watch that playlist up here and if you're thinking about buying your tickets you can find them in the bio if you enjoyed today's video in Shelha Water Park, please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed to our channel. And that being said, we will see you in the next episode. Hasta, Hasta luego. luego! Join us in the next episode where we share a detailed look into the Mexican Caribbean's three most popular islands to help you decide which to add to your itinerary. This is probably the, the most unique beach experience we've ever had. Yeah, and the water doesn't even get you to the chest. Yeah. I mean, not, not even to your hip.